Welcome to Try Everyone. My name is Heath, and today we're going to be comparing OBS versus Streamlabs desktop and which one you should be using as a live stream. If you notice that as well, I'm not wearing my signature toboggan. That is because it is super hot in my house because my air has gone out. But anyway, let's jump in this video. Let's discuss it. Uh, let's talk about OBS and Streamlabs desktop. All right, so let's talk about OBS and Streamlabs desktop. Right now, I'm currently recording from OBS 29.1.3. Uh, this is my primary uh, broadcast software, whether I use it for live streaming or whether I use it for recording YouTube videos like I'm doing right now. But for a long time, for, I was a long time user uh, solely of Streamlabs desktop. And that's what we're going to go over first. We're going to go over some of the perks of it, some of the positive of it, and some of the negative of it as well. And then we're going to go switch over and we're going to record from Streamlabs desktop and go over the pluses and positives of OBS and then some of the negatives as well. And then we're going to let you make your own decision about why and which one will be perfect for you. So for the duration of this video, I'm assuming that you're a content creator or live streamer of some sort and that you are familiar with either OBS or Streamlabs desktop. The whole goal of this video is not to be an in-depth guide, but to give you some perks and positives and negatives of each software. That way you can make a better and well-informed decision when it comes to choosing your broadcasting software. But anyway, let's jump over here and take a look at Streamlabs desktop. All right, so here we are inside of Streamlabs desktop. So right off the bat, one of the positive things about Streamlabs desktop is that it is very user-friendly and it is very easy to set up from the get-go. So if you're a new streamer, uh, this is what was recommended to me when I first got started. And the setup for it is very simple. You can install scenes, you can set up alerts, all within inside of the Streamlabs desktop app itself. One of the great features of Streamlabs desktop that I miss inside of OBS is the ability to take an image from your desktop and simply drag and drop it inside of Streamlabs desktop. So I've been playing a lot of Hunter to call it a while. And it, while I'm streaming, it's just really simple to bring up an image. If I wanted to use Streamlabs desktop right here, I just dragged and dropped a picture from my desktop directly into Streamlabs desktop. Very simple, straightforward, pops it up, fills up the entire screen. No problem whatsoever. Again, this is just one feature that I'm actually miss and I wish was enabled inside of OBS 29. Uh, another feature of Streamlabs desktop that I actually really enjoy is the fact that pretty much everything is included inside of Streamlabs desktop. You don't have to go to any outside sources like Stream Elements page to be able to add your alerts. Everything can be done pretty much from inside of Streamlabs desktop. So you just click that little arrow like that, gives you a whole list of options that you have, your dashboard, your dashboard home, cloud bot for channel moderation. You can adjust your alert box, alert settings as well. You can add widgets to your stream, tip settings, and it gives you options for multi-streaming as well. And it gives you some help features also. And there's also the settings button as well. All right, let me move my camera out of the way and we'll show you some other features as well. You have an editor up here at the top that allows you to change the layout of your Streamlabs desktop. It gives you a couple of predefined layouts that is one thing that I don't really enjoy about Streamlabs desktop because you're limited to certain layouts. You can customize the layout somewhat by dragging and dropping the different windows inside of here. So you can actually drag this one, different ones to different places and things like that. However, you are limited to the amount of customization you can actually do inside of the layout editor. So as I said, I use Streamlabs desktop when I first started streaming and actually use it for a lot of years up until just recently. But some other features I really liked or really enjoyed about Streamlabs desktop was the fact that everything is pretty much right there on the screen. Uh, you can adjust it very easily. It doesn't require anything at all at, from the outside to be able to set up your stream. Pretty much every, like I said, pretty much everything is included and set up inside of Streamlabs desktop itself. One thing I've seen discussed inside of the streaming community is the fact that people say Streamlabs desktop uses an a large amount of resources. One thing to take into consideration is whenever you're setting up a stream that you have to base it upon what your computer specs are. You can't have a bunch of animation on your screen. You can't have a bunch of alert. If you have a lower end PC, if you do, it's gonna use a lot more resources. So anytime you're using any streaming software, you have to take that into account, whether it is Streamlabs desktop or OBS. For me personally, Streamlabs desktop 
was actually a really great software to use. I had no issue with it whatsoever. It was easy to set up, easy to install. Everything was just simply plug and play, drag and drop. It was just really a nice all-in-one software to use while I was streaming. Overall, one of the best things about Streamlabs desktop that I enjoy is the actual user interface. To me personally, it looks better overall. The user interface itself is much cleaner, much sleeker, and the options for setup are a lot easier to get to and a lot easier to find. So here's why I would recommend Streamlabs desktop over OBS. One, if you're a new streamer, setup is very simple uh, to get started. If you're not familiar with broadcasting software, it's easy to set up. Everything is pretty much included inside the program itself. You have a bot for channel moderation. You have alert box settings that you can set up from within inside of Streamlabs desktop. If you've been a streamer for a while and you're looking to do more complex things inside of your broadcasting software, we're gonna swap over and talk about OBS and why I would recommend OBS over Streamlabs desktop. All right, so now we are actually inside of Streamlabs desktop. We are using the same recording settings that we were using from within OBS. For the duration of this video, unless I specifically specify, we will be using Streamlabs desktop to record the rest of the video. All right, so now let's go over the pros and cons of why I think you should use OBS over Streamlabs desktop. Right out of the box, OBS is extremely customizable. One of actually the driving force behind me actually switching to OBS was the ability to add plugins to OBS to further customize OBS itself. There are a few minor inconveniences about using OBS. One of the things that I actually catch myself doing inside of OBS is what I actually did a while ago in Streamlabs desktop, and that is to attempt to drag and drop an image file directly onto the canvas inside of OBS. I still catch myself doing that to this day, and I forget that you actually have to create an image source and create that source inside of OBS itself. Another small inconvenience is the fact that everything that is from the outside alerts, all of that has to actually be done by creating a browser source pasting that browser source inside of OBS. That way you'll have your alerts. As you notice right here, I'm actually still using part of Streamlabs. This is actually a browser source that shows the recent events because I still use some features of Streamlabs desktop for my live streams. Another small annoyance is the fact that the controls on the right hand side of the screen, they are extremely large and they take up a huge portion of the actual canvas. I feel that could be used for something else. I think they could be consolidated a little bit more, uh, similar to the way that Streamlabs desktop has done their go live options and record options and the other simple settings like that. However, it can be dragged around and it can be moved on your screen. I personally am using only one screen, which is an ultra wide monitor. So I don't have the option just to actually maximize the window just to make it bigger. That way it doesn't look like it takes up quite as much real estate. And that brings us up to a pro inside of OBS, and that is the ability to actually drag and drop anything inside of OBS to a different positions inside the actual program itself. So as you can see right here, I just dragged the control buttons down here at the bottom, and they're still relatively big. This right here is one of the great features inside of OBS, the ability to drag any dock anywhere inside of OBS itself. You can actually rearrange all of them, make them look how you want them to look, put them in different positions, put them in different places. You can actually hide some docs. So the customization options inside of OBS for the actual program itself is much more convenient than having to go into the layout editor inside of Streamlabs desktop. So as I stated, the driving force behind me switching permanently to OBS was the fact that you can have plugins inside of OBS itself. I have one that actually moves my camera with a simple touch of a button from my Elgato Stream Deck. We have a vertical layout, as you can see right here, that allows me to create short form content for TikTok and YouTube as well. And alone, these things right here, uh, barring any minor inconvenience I may have with OBS itself, is the fact that I can use any plugins I want to further enhance my stream, further enhance my YouTube videos as well, with just a simple touch of a button. All right, so these are my thoughts on OBS versus Streamlabs desktop. Tell me down in the comment section below, what broadcasting software are you using? Are you using Streamlabs desktop? Are you using OBS? And why are you using one or the other? And also, what feature would you like to see if you're using Streamlabs desktop? What feature would you like to see added to it? 
If you're using OBS, what feature would you like to be added to it as well? But anyway, it all comes down to a personal preference and does it accomplish what you needed to do? Uh, don't let anyone out there influence you to choose one or the other based on what they think. But again, it comes down, does it achieve what you needed to do? But anyway, guys and gals, this is my thoughts on OBS and Streamlabs desktop. Look forward to seeing you next one. Until then, much love. Peace out, and we'll see you soon.